Monsoon 2022 is off to a very stormy start here in Arizona. And this morning, that has all of us asking several age-old questions about lightning and thunder. Team 12's Jen Wall is answering those questions this morning, live for us at Tempe Town Lake. Jen? Yeah, good morning to you both. We're live here from Tempe Town Lake. Got a few sprinkles this morning, and it's a place where you can catch a really pretty show for monsoon 2022 as long as you're in a safe spot. So the first question that we are verifying this morning when it comes to lightning and thunder is does lightning always strike at the highest point? Some of our sources here are Tegna Meteorologists, the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research, National Weather Service, Lightning Protection Institute, among others. The first answer here is no. Lightning does not always strike the highest point. Although it's true, lightning typically strikes tall objects. That's not the case all of the time. And there is some room for unpredictability, so that's why it is always unsafe outside in a thunderstorm. Question number two, should you shut your windows during a thunderstorm? Okay, so besides the obvious, because you don't want dust blowing in your house, the answer here we're verifying is yes, you should shut your windows during a thunderstorm. While it's not likely lightning will strike through an open window, your odds of being struck are higher with open windows than when they're closed. And then number three, should you avoid taking a shower or bath during a thunderstorm? The answer here is yes, we can verify you should avoid both of those when lightning is in the area. Metal and water both conduct electricity, which makes the bathtub one of the riskier spots in your home. The Insurance Information Institute says to avoid any conducting path leading outside like electrical appliances, wires and plumbing. And KHOU meteorologist adds there are about 10 to 20 reported cases of people being electrocuted by lightning in their bathtubs every year. So during this active monsoon, it's really important to make sure you have your emergency kits ready, a plan for your family, and that you're dialed in to all of the emergency alerts in your area. Even if you're traveling outside of town, make sure you're aware of what's going on. For our live in Tempe, Jen Wall, Today Easy.